CEO Ronald Hicklin from Creating the Difference. I wanted to talk to you briefly about cores and core technology. We're gonna kind of start off over here, which this core is basically like a, just a round core that has nothing really, no dynamic properties to it. If you were to look at that on the inside, it would look like this. And sometimes what manufacturers will do is they'll put a little top weight inside of that to be able to create some difference between the whole core and the top half. And then the top half obviously is where you would drill the holes. Now this is what you would see in like a house ball, um, your polyester plastic balls, um, even the beginning type bowling balls would have a core shape that's more similar like this. And because the mass is all spread out throughout the core, maybe there's a little bit here at the top, that's gonna create what's called a higher RG type ball, which means a type of bowling ball that tends to wanna get down the lane further before it wants to make a, a move to the pocket. Conversely, this is more of an advanced core shape. What this is, is it's actually got an interior piece and that begins to take some of this mass that is outside and begin to bring it more inside or lowering the RG of the bowling ball. This particular ball has a core that looks like this. It's pretty heavy. And as uh, ball companies begin to change the weight from 15 to 14 to 13, they'll either begin to take the mass out of this outer piece or the inner piece to be able to get the weight right. Now the next step in kind of evolution there is to begin to take something like this, which would really be considered an inner core and an outer core and adding another piece with that, right? Which is what you can kind of see here. So we've got an inner core piece, an outer core piece, and then another piece on top. And what that does is that takes some of the weight that's concentrated back toward the center, but it helps to make uh, some more mass up here too, which now not only gives you that lowering of the RG, so to speak, but it also raises the differential. And the differential is the flare potential. So bowling balls that have pieces that are like this relative to this with the space between them, that's gonna create more differential or more flare potential, which can lead to more hook potential. Now you say, this shape doesn't look like this shape. Some of you may be familiar with this shape. This is the gas mask core shape. But it is actually the same, right? It's just how it was sliced. So it was in the ball this way when they sliced it, and that's why it looks like this. Now you say, well, what else can you do with core shapes, right? We have basically just an outer core, maybe a, a, a puck on top. We've got an inner core. We've got an inner core with a puck on top, or this is called a pancake. Well, you could also put another piece inside. So this particular shape right here is a representative of that. So now you have the outer, the outer core, you have an inner core, you have an inner piece inside the inner core um, as well. And that looks like this. So this piece, this piece right here is actually put into this piece. So it would go right here, it would go right around here is where that would go. And then you would have this other piece of the core. And the reason why you have uh, this channel is so that when you're pouring the material, it has somewhere to flow around the core when it's going into the actual mold. This, what this does is this really can lower that RG. You can put a, a very dense piece here or a very light piece here, depending on what you want to do. But that's going to help to really lower the RG, which is going to make the ball want to rev up even more. But because of the shape of the core and because of this additional mass, you can still create a lot of differential, which means you can get a lot of flare potential. So this type of core shape is typically reserved uh, for, your, for your high performance type bowling balls. Now, last but not least, I want to show you one other thing that's kind of interesting. This core shape right here, this actually happens to be a high road. This core shape is fairly round, but there's a mass here and a mass here with this core. And what's really cool about high road is there's no outer core around this shape. We say, well, why does that matter? Well, here's the thing. The thicker that cover stock is, the more durable that cover stock can be. So when you see balls like a high road um, that have this thicker shell, you don't seem to hear a lot of issues with those bowling balls cracking. If you think about that, that's pretty much true, right? You don't hear a lot of high roads cracking relative to some of the other balls where the, the shell's a little bit thinner. And to illustrate that point a little bit more, I'm gonna show you an example. So this core in this ball has that outer. This is an older ball. You can see actually that this, the, the core is actually coming out of the, out of the cover stock because the ball's, it's just cracking and it's coming out. Um, because the, this cover stock is so thin, this allows the core uh, and the cover to basically, uh, over time, kind of begin to separate from each other, which would make the ball more prone to cracking, which is what's happening here with this core. Now, this core shape is actually similar in shape, but it's a much older ball. This is a much, much older ball. But look at the difference. See how thick this cover stock is? The thickness of this cover stock is a lot greater, and that's why this ball hasn't cracked, even though it's much older than that other ball. And the shape and the interior is kind of close to the same. What else is interesting is, is look at how many pieces there are. You've got one, two, three, four pieces to be able to make up this particular core shape. 
Last but not least, I'll show you one of my personal favorites. And they don't make them like this anymore. But same thing, see how thin the cover stock is? That's also why the ball is more prone to cracking. But what's crazy about this is this is one of the most expensive core shapes ever actually made because there's so many pieces. But let's count, you got one, which is the white outer. You've got two, which is the brown. You've got three, which is this nugget, is what they called it at the time. You've got a piece down here, which makes four, and a piece up here, which makes five. So this is a five-part core. If any one of these parts were a little bit off, a little bit heavy, a little bit light, a little bit misaligned, it could make the bowling ball uh, not good for sale. It could turn it into an exile or scrap. So don't make them like this anymore, but this is one of the most expensive balls um, ever produced from a core standpoint. So some of the lessons here are, one, uh, bowling balls that have thicker core shape or thicker cover stocks, like this, or like the high road, are gonna be a little bit more durable. As you begin to put more of that mass toward the center of the core, center of the ball, you're gonna to begin to lower that RG. If you start putting other pieces in place, you can begin to keep that differential raise, which will increase your flare potential and give you more total hook. And that's primarily using a lot of high performance type bowling balls. And then as you begin to go down and you, uh, down the line here to more of the balls that you may see uh, at the bowling center, at a house bowling ball, or maybe even a beginner type bowling ball, you may only just have one or two pieces. Well, now you have more information about cores. If you like this video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. If you got more comments, please drop them in there. We, we love to read all the comments and we can give you some more feedback too, if you're interested. And hey, if you haven't joined our staff, it's free to join. Just go to ctdbowling.com, click the three little lines, Join the regional staff program. It's free to join, and we'd love to have you and have some more conversation with you. With that being said, I'm out of here. CEO Ronald Hicklin from Creating the Difference. Talk to you soon.